So, I've been trying to film this video for probably the past three hours, and I could never get it right. This is not a typical video you're gonna see. Honestly, I'm kind of uncomfortable filming it. Idea that this past few weeks, I wanna tell you guys a story of times where I just didn't feel good enough. If you ever have, you know, put your confidence on your Instagram followers, the story's for you. But I want to get this out there because I feel like it will open some of your guys' eyes. Hey guys, so my name is Jade. If you're new here, this probably shouldn't be the first video you should watch. But um, I'm a 17-year-old entrepreneur and blah, 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 blah. Honestly, guys, this past few weeks has been awesome, insane. Um, if you guys don't know, I, this channel has been growing. And when you receive growth or exposure or more views or whatever you want to put it, like... Sometimes you just put pressure on yourself to do better like OMG like people are watching me like I just somehow felt like I needed to do higher production I I just want to do more and I don't know why that was the case because it, nothing's changed But internally I felt like I had to chase something like I had to do something different I don't know if you guys ever felt like that But like maybe you do one post on Instagram really really well You get so many likes and then you get the next video and it's like shit and you're like what the heck and then you get depressed and then, yeah I'm gonna be honest like I've been thinking about how to make more videos perfect rather than actually doing it, which is completely unlike me. You know, I have an app company launching next week. I've been crying my eyes out because of that, because that's stressful. But I also do consulting for brands. I do marketing and, you know, I do YouTube too. And sometimes I feel like I need to do something more with YouTube. So basically a company reached out to me last week for a sponsorship. And I've never, ever done a sponsorship on this channel at all. Um, and they offered me good money, but then I just realized, like, I would never use their product. Like, I haven't even used their product, and I don't want to recommend you guys something that if I, I haven't used, you know? Uh, but it was good money, and I can't believe I literally just almost decided to consider it, and they were giving me a number that was enticing, and yes, I should take it, because yes, you're doing well, yes, you should get money, which is why are you, you know, limiting yourself, but I realized, like, I... I don't want to be a seller and I know I can wait and you know this that in that moment I know the story might be something you guys can relate to whether it's like you know cashing out super early like once you get certain success you just want to go or, or maybe you're someone who hasn't gone there and you just want to make that cash quick or you want to make that shortcut I just want to give that something I just learned which is money followers like fame can probably give you comfort a lifestyle you know security but it can do everything but give you happiness and i came from a financially struggling childhood like i grew up you know literally not being able to sometimes you know sometimes i would have to use my lunch money to buy things i needed day to day and it was hard seeing that struggle so you know now i grew up and i grew up <laughs> now that i'm older i just felt pressure to do more and then I'm like, that's wrong because if you put your identity, your performance on numbers and things people can see, when you look at yourself in the mirror, that is the most scariest thing. If you don't see confidence and assurance and self-awareness when you look yourself and not when people look at you, you know, that's when things can go extremely, extremely wrong because, for example, you got a pop and follower account, great. But what about the inside? Like, do you know who you are? Do you know your identity? Do you, are you putting your identity with external thing um and in that time being i was so frustrated on why i wasn't making videos like i don't know why i didn't do the things i wanted i don't know why i wasn't as happy i'm oh, okay there's a helicopter Bitch. i wanted just to make this video just to get something off my chest it's been lying on my heart for a while which is you guys have to understand that you can't go out there and you know build the brand you want you know be in control of your life you know design your life or be a digital marketer or be an entrepreneur or do what you want if you let money control you. Like for the longest time, I was like, cool, like entrepreneurship, money. Like I just realized building a brand and influence has nothing to do but has nothing to do but numbers. It's all about this process. And I quickly realized like I was, if I didn't, you know, catch myself, I'm not saying I, I was being a sellout or I was, I'm literally depressed and I'm on the ground, but I had these moments where I catch myself doing behaviors that I would never typically do. And I knew if I kept doing that over time, I probably, would be so empty inside. Realize that a lot of YouTubers out there can sometimes do that. Like I've seen people on YouTube have huge followings and sometimes those are the people that are most unhappy, empty p people on this planet. Um, and I was actually just watching a few videos. I don't know if you remember like this girl called Michelle Fawn. Remember guys, when I grew up, there's basically this YouTube who paved the way for all the other creators like michelle was a youtuber who made beauty videos but not only that she built a career off top of that but because she was the first one she got a lot a lot of attention very quickly and over time she just disappeared on youtube and you know michelle was a huge inspiration to me but i quickly saw patterns that i was doing in her path that you know not saying like i am michelle Fong, just seeing people's story um, and it reminded me how quickly fame can actually destroy 
what you want to do in life and my biggest thing in this video is take if you're an influencer take projects that you can control money money won't control you you won't do things just because it will make quick crash you do things because you want to and you know it will give value to your audience and that was the hardest switch i had to make because slowly i would i don't know like i'm currently in la and sometimes with this energy we get caught up in the external gucci lamborghini i don't know whatever you guys are into which is cool but i didn't want it to define me um and i basically want to make this video for everyone out there who doesn't feel like they're good enough whoever feels like you know the numbers on the screen kind of hurt them put that internally like make sure you guys take time every day just step back love yourself literally go out take a vacation if you're taking life too seriously go on a trip go to the park i don't know if you guys want to know what i've been up to it's honestly a lot of downtime and thinking and i just want to know more about myself and how i wanted to be on this channel so i realized that i'm just not going to post anything but the truth I, I just want to make content that is honest real and gives value to you guys i will i don't give a shit how much views it get if it can help one person that's all I ever need and I hope that could be one of you guys and if that's you please comment below and let me know what you think but you know what I'm just gonna start posting content that is high quality but that's truthful and I think we get so caught up in an industry where you have to put high quality but you have to subsidize for the truth you have to you know fake a storyline or fake a narrative like, and you have to act like your brand just be yourself guys honestly I'm gonna start posting content on here that might piss you off I really hope not. I, I just want to let you guys know that an update on my life has been a switch from you know chasing these numbers to you know what let me do what's right first and money and you know success will come after um, and honestly I don't I'm not bawling and I'm not someone who thinks I'm famous I just don't I want to do what's right and you know this video might be random but I hope it guys gives you insight on something that's been in my heart and I just want to let you know I haven't died on YouTube um, I did take a little bit off time but I'm back and I can't wait to share you guys all the videos I have planned all the travels I have like I did a meetup the other day with you guys and it's honestly amazing thank you so much for the support I am the luckiest person alive so blessed to have you um, and I want to thank you for your support anyways guys I'm gonna keep up with you very soon I'm literally gonna upload a video tomorrow um, and just stay tuned for some amazing announcements I'm heading to Europe for a Dharma Nation meetup. So maybe I'll be in your city. Stay very tuned. Other than that, um, I wanna get this video out. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you like it, and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you wanna be the next comment winner, I just wanna know your thoughts. I just wanna know what you guys feel, how you guys are doing. I care about you so much. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.